<laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. Um, tell me more one thing about uh, the artwork of the last album by Steinbo and uh, did also the cover of Get Some. And, yeah, even uh, the, the DVD and posters. Of He's really good, man. I like really that. Yeah. Uh, how he happened to kind of fit in with our our mindset, you know. He's it it always kind of got it. You can tell him, say, hey, do something, and you're going, oh, wow, that's great. And it's like a separate piece of art. It's wow. like great. Uh, 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 it's cool too. And the DVD is cool. The CD is cool, and it looks cool too. So it's like, um, you know, yeah, it's big, a nice, big, nice we, we, we we did a uh, documentary. We did uh, part of a documentary. Mm -hmm. They're making about them. Yeah. About uh, um, Stain about, Boy. About Stain Boy. So, uh, I mean, I'm gonna get. I don't know. Get a chance to see it. Today. <laughs> <laughs> And did you ask him uh, specific stuff about the the last cover? Or yeah, the, uh, it was, it was I, was in, I was I was uh, I was doing like uh, jury duty, and this in this courtroom. But anyway, they make you go in this room, and there's all these free books that you can like sit there and read while you're waiting to do this. And you get called, and so for some reason they had these Western books, and they all and you could see the image from across the room. And I just noticed that, as like the contrast, the way the colors were and stuff, that you like that's something you can see across the room. It's always we uh, real conscious of having an image that can be blown up or shrunk down because sometimes you'll see it really big, and sometimes you'll see it really small, and it needs to be recognizable. And I and I had all these like uh, uh, Western books, and I, yeah. and I was like, I said, hey man, you know, you know, like uh, good and bad, the ugly, you know, come to town. <coughs> the band with the band with no name, you know, killing everyone, killing and fucking everyone, and leaving, you know. Yeah, and as soon as we told him, he was like, oh, yeah, I, knew, I know exactly you know, what to do. He's like, oh, this is going to be great. And he had yeah, all of his about, ideas, like, immediately. It was so. about, a, it was about uh, maybe a five-minute conversation of us agreeing with each other and talking over top of each other and just saying, okay, see ya. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, he just takes a long time to do stuff. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, anyway, maybe you, you will not like what I say, but I think uh, blame on that uh, cover, the artwork of From El to Texas, you make me think about Tuco in the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta look alike, you know. What about yeah. him? He's the one with the fucking dynamite in his mouth. Yeah, it's dynamite. I have, th I have things to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> and in, in the same time from the last album, there is a gimmick with uh, songs from oh, yeah. Western Which, movies. Which, I always put some little gimmick in there. Song. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just really corny, man. I don't know. It's just, just like a, I'm so jealous because rappers get to do that. They'll put like a in a rap in a rap record. They'll put like a like a track for 30 seconds of two guys talking and open up a beer mm -hmm. can. And I'm so jealous we can't fill stuff with that. Man. I mean, <laughs> I just like it mean, little goofy sound and shit. You know, I just love love really. You know, just uh. You know, like We've done it on sense. most of our records too. Yeah, I tried to do yeah, some kind of record. Started with our car. We had our car starting the one album. We and had then car a blowing up. Machine, car blowing car up at the end. end. And it just, I was corny, but you know, I'm a corny guy, so I have that stuff that's on there sometimes. <laughs> Chili con corny. Chili con corny. <laughs> <laughs> Other bands. It's fucking awesome. And isn't it frustrating 
to to play only 30 or 40 minutes? No. No. It's great. You don't have to play more. Just take it and pack it all in there. It's got a motor here. We played 30 minutes and aimed, aimed, it was a very strict 30 minutes. And I mean, it was frustrating at first, but after that, I was like, yeah. I, I like it. I like Sometimes it. Sometimes it's just hard to pick which songs you want to play because there's so many that are mm -hmm. so bitching. And um, I read on Ryder's blog you liked the French arms band called called Pastor of Muppets. Oh no, these yeah. guys are yeah. awesome. Yeah. 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 These guys are great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. with yeah. cover from metal bands, Metallica. So. Yeah, they were right. they were awesome. I think they were like to to hear from that. I really try to to write to them. Uh, on MySpace, because I think. I think I got really drunk at that festival and told him how great they were about a yeah. hundred times. <laughs> yeah, he did. I have a little video of him like trying to conduct them and everything. It was in the tent, if I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like in the VIP bar. Yeah, it was VIP bar. Exactly. Yeah, that oh, was fun. And um, in the same time last year, from September to October, you you were on tour with Motorhead. Um, a few months later. Uh, can you tell us more about the experience of this tour and uh, We're still drunk. <laughs> I slept I slept for uh I slept for like months. I slept for like a week, I think, when I got back off the motor tour. I slept, yeah. oh, oh, slept, for, I slept for a week. Uh, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why Tour with those guys is almost too much fun. Yeah, <laughs> man. I never, I never thought I would say that about being on the road. Mm -hmm. But it's like so fun. <laughs> it's, uh, it's much that, you, you know it's just all downhill after that. Yeah. Like, well, it's, it's most most rock and roll backstages and stuff, and rather rock and roll uh, touring place, you know, bands. It's not what you think it is. Motorhead is. It's exactly what you think it is. <laughs> it's uh, all the uh, sex, drugs, and rock and roll stuff going on all the time that you think that you imagine as a kid, and it's like, yeah, all right, that was just total chaos, man. You know. Oh, it's but, organized chaos. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it was like being I like it was like being part of a circus, and yeah. you know, and it was really nice. A okay. really fun, awesome, awesome circus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a grown-up circus, <laughs> adult circus, no stupid kids. <laughs> and uh, you also uh, was interviewing you during uh, for a DVD or so. Uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, yeah, let me yeah. interview this. On the, on the oh, box. that's right. Yeah. yeah. That was a long time ago, though. Yeah, it was like four couple years, of years ago. ago. A couple years ago. Yeah, because so. yeah, he comes to all he comes to all our shows if he's in town, like in L.A. or wherever. He'll definitely come out. So he he came up for that one show, the live in Hollywood DVD, and did our little miniature interview. That was great. And I think writer, you, you have seen uh, um, it was in maybe Twitter or something like that. You said that you have seen. Uh, thank you to Nashville Pussy. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and, and the city. motorized? No, hammer? Hammer. And hammer. send it in the it's other done. one that was in that box that they gave us, too. Which send one? it in all of the Motorhead albums that oh, were really? in uh, it's, oh, it's, nice. it's, it's, Yeah. Lemmy calls me like once a week and says thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he's a to, hey, you know what? He's the one guy I could text him that, that he texts back faster than anybody, I swear to God. I just, uh, just do it sparingly. <laughs> Give him my, my phone number. Or if he, for hey. I, gotta do, I gotta do it sparingly. I usually try to make sure I'm not too drunk. I'm <laughs> Thank you for the Thank you for the show. Thank Repeat me on